Hey, this is Jenny from InsideOutGlamour.com. I wanted to do a little video about pale skin. And you may say I'm not the right person for the job. And I am a little olive complected and I do have the ability to tan. But the older I get, the more I realize I don't want to feel the pressure to be tan. It's crazy in our culture that we kind of have to be really dark to be fashionable. And that's such a cultural, like regional cultural thing because since moving to Alabama, I noticed how many people here lay in tanning beds. Having lived in Florida for 10 years, people just did outdoor, outdoor activities and got color as they got it. But here it's like an obsession to be dark. And I just wish that people could embrace the color that they are. And I think that there are a few products out there that would help that. And I also want to commit that this summer I'm not spending time at all planning to try to darken my color. It may naturally happen with sunscreen on also, but I am, that is not my goal. My goal is to protect my skin and have fun with my kids. And that's just not uh, on my agenda anymore like it was in younger days. And no matter what age you are, please give up the tanning as sport, okay? Whether it's the tanning bed or uh, in the sun, just doing it just to get dark is kind of crazy. Okay. Anyway, um, so a few things that I think help with keeping pale skin looking really good are first to have it be exfoliated nicely. This is a homemade scrub that I made and I will link the recipe to this that's on my blog. This has green tea and sugar and some essential oils in it and it makes my skin feel like baby's bottom. Mm. You need some of this and once you do that you don't necessarily even have to moisturize right after because your skin will feel so good and so get yourself a really good scrub whether you make it yourself or you buy it in store try to get something natural um, that will really help your skin glow and look good and you want to really reflect the light have some luminescence to your skin no matter what color you are but particularly if you're pale and that will just really help here is another favorite product of mine it is Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Raw Shea Dry Oil Mist. This I used through the winter and I used it up pretty quickly. I've been using it and I'm not stopping now that the weather's getting warm either. It really makes my skin feel great. And if I don't want to like spray it, I'm afraid I'm going to get it on things. Sometimes I'll spray it directly into my hand and then rub it on my skin. Let's see, I can just show you on my shoulder. Let's see if you can just see. See those freckles we don't want any more of, but anyway. Just if you can kind of see, see there the um, luminosity, the the reflection of light and how good the skin feels. It absorbs really quickly too. So see, it's not greasy looking or greasy feeling after a couple of seconds. Dry oil, it's awesome. And it smells really nice, kind of vanilla-ish. It says it has frankincense and myrrh in it. So those are known to do great things for your skin. So look this up. I got mine at Target. Can't I think it was maybe around nine dollars worth every penny and I won't stop using it and the other favorite of mine is Burt's Bees Radiance body lotion with royal jelly this also reflects light this is really really great for covering up like veins that you don't want to show like it's not a concealer but because it reflects the light you won't be noticing them nearly as much you can see that right there it is so it has a floral smell. It's a little more flowery. So I recommend that. I bought this one at CVS for probably around eight or nine dollars also. And I will use this all up, I'm sure. They're both great. Great, great, great. Love it. Okay, and the other thing, final thing I want you to do is not be afraid to contrast your skin with maybe a brighter lipstick. Now, for a pale, a pale skin person, a bright lipstick might be a medium pink, and that's okay to do a bold lip that way, or to do like a dramatic eye, but it will so help liven up your face if you do a little bit of contrast. So whether it be eye or lip or both, or even a statement necklace that's kind of higher to the face, that will just really help perk up your complexion. And grab a friend and go hold up different colors to your face and let your friends say, this is your best color. If you aren't sure which colors look really good on you, have a friend, like hold up different clothes and say, yes, this color looks awesome on you. So you have that to always go back to. You want those colors you know that will make you feel more confident on a day where you have a bad skin or bad hair and 
so that will help. Anyway, rock your skin color no matter what color it is, okay? God made you the way you are for a reason, and I just hope you love and embrace it and take care of yourself. Sunscreen up, folks. Sunscreen, sunscreen up. We're all going to protect ourselves. And have a great day. Again, hashtag Inside Out Glamour, and hope you have a good one.